everyone welcome to my channel welcome Aquarius today I'm going to do your uh, weekly reading this is June 8th through the 14th please remember this is a general reading if you'd like a personal reading my information is in the description box please also know that timing is fluid and flexible this will be for your Sun your moon your rising and your Venus signs um, feel free to check out your other signs. There is a video playlist link in the description box as well. Uh, the last thing that I have for you is I am doing a giveaway at the end of the month. I'm giving away two personal readings. Uh, to enter, you just need to subscribe, like, and comment. Um, if you're already a subscriber, uh, you just have to like and comment, okay? So thank you. I want to say thank you to everyone for your support, your comments, your likes, your shares. I appreciate them so much. Um, I do read all of your comments, so just know that. It does take me some time, though, because there are a lot. Um, so just want to give you a big thank you um, as I try to dive into the readings, and, and I don't take that opportunity to say thank you. So thank you. So uh, let's get started here. All right, so thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. I pray that this reading for Aquarius is for the highest good and purest intentions. I pray that you give Aquarius the details and messages they need to know for June 8th through the 14th. I pray that this will help them on their journey, give them clarity and healing if needed. I thank you for your love, your wisdom, and your guidance. Amen. So let's get one card here for Aquarius. This is from the Energy Oracle Cards. Okay, I'm going to pull um, a couple Romance Angel cards. Now remember, the weeklies, anything goes. So this could be about love, career, finances, family situations, um, however it resonates for you. It's not always just about love, though I, I do pull two Romance Angel cards to bring in the love aspect to the reading. All right, thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Aquarius? What messages do you have for Aquarius? Okay, we have honeymoon and calling in your soulmate. All right, so let's start with your first card here. The first card that you have is indecision. All right, Aquarius, I feel here you're at a crossroads. Right? I feel like there has been some type of change here. I feel, um, I'm getting here that it's like part of your, your journey or your destiny here. You're at a crossroads. Um, and I feel like you're having a hard time making a decision um, in your situation. The next card that we have here is we have Honeymoon. Okay. Um, I see this as a distance card, okay? So there's something here with distance. Now you may be de trying to decide here um, that you are going to make a move, okay? You may be traveling to see someone or this could be somebody traveling to see you. Um, so I definitely feel here there's some indecision about the situation, okay? The next card you have is calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So this could be a soulmate in your life that you're trying to make this decision. And remember, energies can be reversed. So this could be your person too, trying to make this decision. Whatever the case here, um, there's definitely um, some indecision going on and choices here. I was just checking here, there's some writing on this, these two pathways, but I can't read them. <laughs> They're so small, so I thought I'd check it out. Uh, it's a newer deck for me. So I definitely feel here, um, there is somebody in your life that you're very attached to. Now remember, a soulmate can come in all forms, doesn't have to necessarily be a love. It could be a family member or a friend as well. But I feel like there's some sort of choice here, um, whether it's you or the person you're dealing with um, that wants to come towards you, okay? Come towards you. Uh, I feel there's some distance between you and this person. This can also be about um, 
you or this person making some sort of home move. Okay, closer together. That's what I'm getting. Okay, let's get one more shuffle for Aquarius. June 8th through the 14th. Cut the cards here. I'm using, um, I'm getting a lot of questions on this deck. I'm using the Gilded Tarot Royal deck. Okay, so I've had a lot of people ask me. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Um, what messages do you have for Aquarius? What messages do you have for Aquarius, June 8th through the 14th? Let's, oh, there's one. We've got the Justice card. Star card. Nine of Swords. Okay, let's get three more, please. What messages do we have for Aquarius? All right. Okay, bottom of the deck, Eight of Swords. All right, somebody here is feeling stuck in the situation. This is your energy, Aquarius, or you could be dealing with another Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Um, so yeah, I feel like you're stuck and not exactly sure how to proceed here. Um, and what your decision making is here. Uh, you can also be stuck because of fears, okay? You're not seeing the way because you have some fears that may be blocking you from really seeing uh, the right path for you to go. Okay, so give me a moment to hone in on the energy. Okay, so what I'm getting here, I feel like there is some justice here in the situation. You could be dealing with a Libra, but I do feel like there's karmic justice um, in the situation. I feel like there may have been something that you have gone through in your past that wasn't fair to you um, or, you know, could have been hurtful. This could also be about a court case, okay, um, a court case going in your favor. Um, you know, whether, you know, it's some type of settlement, uh, could be divorce, um, or could be some other legal matter here. But I feel here like the, the universe is, is trying to offer you this big cup here. Um, you know, there, I, f I see here there's other cups here on the side, but I feel like uh, you're not going to be interested because I feel like there's something big coming for you. All right. So I feel like if you're waiting for some, um, decision or answer regarding some type of legal matter. I feel here the universe is telling you that your cup's going to be full. You're going to feel good about it. Um, and I feel like almost you're not going to believe it. I almost feel like you're going to be a little stunned about it, um, that things worked out so well. Uh, for others, this could just be about you gaining balance. Um, there could be a karmic situation that you just went through. Now you have the clarity and now um, I feel here the universe is going to offer um, you, you this beautiful uh, cup here. You could be dealing with a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. Ooh, I apologize, my dog's barking. Um, the next two cards that we have, we have the Star card and we have the Ace of Wands. Okay beautiful here. So this is your energy, Aquarius. I do feel here, whatever this justice is or whatever you're being offered, this big cup, I feel here um, this is going to create a new beginning for you, a new passionate start. Now this could be in love, okay, or this could be something that, um, something that is a new endeavor for you, okay? A new journey, new endeavor, something you're creative about, a passion about, could be a new job opportunity, okay? Or could be um, a new business that you're planning to start, okay? Just could be something simple um, of you just taking on some new, new hobby. But I feel like whatever it is, it's also gonna help you with your healing is what I'm getting as well. I also feel here too, um, if this is love for you, 
okay i feel here you know this there could be an apology you could be getting an apology from someone okay this person coming from at a distance that could also be why there is indecision here not sure how you want to um, handle that situation because i do feel here that um you know there i feel like there was something unfair that maybe happened in the past so I feel like you're going to be a little bit unsure if you should take this um, offer or not. Now the next card that you have is the Nine of Swords. So this tells me Aquarius, again here you have the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords. And I feel here, you know, you have a, a lot of worry, uh, maybe up late at night thinking about things, feeling stuck, feeling like you can't, you know, uh, move forward is what I'm getting here. The next card we have is the Emperor. So for some of you, this could be a job situation or a career situation, um, feeling like you know things aren't progressing forward if some of you are not working and you're wanting a job here. Um, I feel here this could be that new opportunity here. This could also be about you starting your own business, a new endeavor as well. Okay, or this could be an Aries in your life and a, another fire energy, Aries Zero Sagittarius. So this could offer could be coming from a fire energy or they could have fire in their chart. Okay. For some of you, this could very well be um, either a business you already have or a business that you're starting. But I do feel here there's some worry about this. Also could be, you know, a job offer um, or, like I said, an apology coming in from someone. So I feel like this person is coming in closer to you. All right. So looking at the bottom of the deck, we have Eight of Swords. Like I said, I feel here you feel like you're feeling a little stuck here. With the Six of Swords, I do feel here you're going to get through this. You're going to get to a place uh, we're going to feel more calm uh, like i said this could also be a home move okay so going at a place at a distance packing up and taking everything that you have with you including your wisdom here again this is your energy but could also be another aquarius libra or gemini you're dealing with and then we have here the six of wands okay so um this tells me there's victory in the situation, okay? Uh, or this could be someone in your life you're dealing with an Aquarius, I mean, I'm sorry, an Aquarius, an Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius, a lot of fire energy in this uh, reading, okay? Could be somebody who is in the spotlight or in the general public, could be a frontline worker, uh, could also be somebody who has a lot of followers on social media, um, but somebody who is very charming, okay? Uh, charming and adventurous is what I'm getting, okay? Now we have the Five of Swords here. So this could be somebody that you had a past conflict with, okay? This person I see coming in, okay, that it's coming from a distance here. So there may have been some harsh words that were said in the past, um, or some arguments, um, or not seeing things eye to eye. Um, I always see this too, is there could have been a third person involved. You can see there's three people in this picture. Two don't look so well. Okay, so there could have been a situation where, you know, there was more than one person involved, and um, it wasn't really a pretty situation here. Remember, it does not have to be about love. It can be, you know, anything here. It could be family, friends, uh, a work situation. Next, we have the five of wands. So I definitely see here there was a lot of conflict. And again, there was more than one person involved in this situation. Uh, again, it's uh, fire energy. We've got a lot of fire and air uh, in this reading. They could be any sign, but then look here, we have the Two of Swords. So again, it's almost like this um, indecision card here. You're having a hard time making a decision about this situation. Okay. For some of you, it could, you know, like I'm feeling here, there could be distance between you and this person. This could be about starting a new business um, or, you know, a job opportunity or someone from your past is coming in with an apology. 
um, and I feel like you just don't know how to feel about it, okay, and, or what you should do or what action you should take. I feel like you're feeling stuck about something too. Um, it could be you want to do a home move or make a home move, but you know, again, I feel like you're indecisive about it. And then we have here the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So this tells me that you're going to do okay, okay? You're, the, the week's going to turn out okay. Um, I feel here when you get past uh, the worry um, and the fears here, you're going to come out okay. This is showing me that you're going to be grounded. You're going to feel good. Um, and I feel here, if you, you know, I feel some of you are getting an offer here. I feel like it's going to be a good offer and you're going to, like I said, feel good and have this Queen of Pentacles energy. All right, so let's um, move on. I'm going to pull a few of these Psychic Tarot Oracle cards. See what comes out here. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Aquarius? What messages do you have for Aquarius? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. Okay, we have Stand Your Ground. Ooh, transformation and suffering and silence. Yeah, that card's been coming out a lot lately. And then heartache and loss. So I feel that um, whatever this, un this unjust situation is where you're wanting justice or the justice is coming in, I feel like it was, um, you know, somebody didn't treat you right. And there was a lot of heartache and loss in the past. And the first card you have is stand your ground. So this tells me um, with this justice coming in or this person um, coming in, I feel for there's somebody coming in, your soulmate here, okay? Whether it's love or it's somebody, you know, could be a friend or a family member. Um, you need to stand your ground with this person, okay? Because they're showing me you're going to get the justice that you deserve here. So I feel here this is an indication not to let this person take advantage of you, okay? Second card you have is transformation. So yeah, I feel here definitely things are going to transform uh, before your eyes. You have two, two beautiful cards here. You have the star card, which is your energy, and you have the ace of wands, okay? So I feel here you're going through your healing, you're transforming, um, you're, this is going to make you more passionate and creative. So beautiful energy there. And then the third card that you have is suffering and silence. All right. I feel like this is part of this nine of swords energy here. They're both nines. So, but the good thing here is I always say with this card, the message I always receive here is that you're at the top of the mountain. You can see the light. Okay. Okay. You're not that far off from gaining your peace and your happiness here. And um, I feel here, you know, you can see it now. I feel you're, you're definitely in a place where you can see it. You've climbed the mountain. You've gone through the struggle. And now you're at a place where you can be a lot more peaceful uh, and move on here. Okay. So I do feel here that is a good thing for you. Okay, you're almost through the struggle that you've been dealing with here. And I feel here once you make that decision too is when um, things are really going to start moving for you. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Aquarius? What messages do you have for Aquarius? June 8th through the 14th. Oof. Okay, we got too many cards there. That's okay. What's going on, angels? I know you want the cards to come out, <laughs> but you're giving me too much. Okay, and let's get one more card. There we go. Okay, Bama Duck, you have recovery. Yes, I feel you're definitely going through some healing. They're showing me that. So I feel. There is some healing. There's some past energy I feel here you're healing from. And I feel like that's part of your decision in your crossroads is that you're really trying to figure out what is the, what is the best path for you. 
because I feel in the past maybe you made decisions that really weren't um, decisions that were what were what was going to make you happy okay the next card you have is ask for help for others so this is your angel saying don't out don't be afraid to ask for help from others this can also be asking your angels as well okay the next card you have is there's something better and i feel like this is part of your transformation all right i feel through your healing um you're realizing now that whatever the situation was whatever this unjust situation was for you i feel like they're telling you there's something better to come this is part of your transformation of you realizing um, that there are better things for you to come and the things in the past that hurt you or you know even if it's this you know legal matter um, you know there's something better coming for you so just know that and, and it shows that here with the ace of wands there's a new beginning here there's a new passionate start um, so definitely there is something better coming your way the next card you have is helpful people okay so you may be feeling you know you may be hurt um, you know worried about a situation and you know you're not really letting people know okay you're suffering in silence and that's why it has asked for help from others and then you have helpful people so there are people around you who would love to help you okay so don't be afraid to ask them the other uh, message that I always get with this card is um, there are times when you will have random people help you you don't even know these people but they will come out of the blue and they will help you in some way and you will know it okay you will know it because it will feel so good that this person that you don't even know just randomly helps you and you will know that that will sent by your angels here okay all right Aquarius I hope you gained some clarity from this reading again if you want to uh, enter for the giveaway subscribe like and comment I appreciate it I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and I'm sending you angel love